Hey guys, Drew here for Zcode System, and it's good to have you back here on our YouTube channel. And today we're going to be talking about something that you might not be too familiar with, and that is point spread in sports betting. Now, this is a strategy that a lot of experienced sports bettors will use to help them make great winning sports bets on sports such as uh, the NFL, NCAA football, NCAA basketball, the NBA, or NHL. So this works very well with American sports and also can be used in other sports such as soccer around the world. So we're going to get into point spread betting, why it's used, and how it's used. And we'll give you an example from today's Super Bowl, which is going to be going on later today. And we'll give you a example that allows you to know a little bit more about how to implement this into your betting strategy. Now, point spread betting, the two things to remember here is that it makes two teams appear more evenly matched whenever you're betting on these, because we can always see that there's often a golf in class and a golf in the favorite and the underdog. But point spread betting really helps uh, even those teams up and make a bet more attractive to sports bettors. And one other thing to remember is that the favorite team in a game is always indicated by a minus sign while the underdog is always indicated by a plus sign. Now, as I said before, this is very common in American sports, such as the NFL, the NBA, and the NHL, as it makes the teams look more closely matched. Uh, in the NFL, we can often see a golfing class between two teams. So, for example, the Chiefs, the Kansas City Chiefs, that is, uh, and the Denver Broncos, uh, the Chiefs are you know, one of the best teams in the NFL, the Broncos, not so much. Uh, so we would see that a point spread bet would make these two teams a little bit more evenly matched than the money line and more attractive for bettors to bet either on the underdog or on the favorite. And the chance to win more money in profits is increased by betting on the point spread than on the money line. We can see oftentimes with the money line betting that you may not be able to earn that much money uh, in profits whenever you make a money line bet, uh, but the point spread can give you more chances to win more money when making a bet. And of course, one of the keys to this and one of the great things about point spread betting is that even if you bet on the losing team, you can win the bet. Uh, even if they lose, you can win the bet because you're actually betting on the amount of points, or the number of points that a team will win by or a team will lose by. So this is quite different than doing your money line bets and can be quite profitable and can also help you make more money by betting on the underdog. So as I said before, today is Super Bowl Sunday, and Super Bowl 55 is going to be played today in Tampa at Raymond James Stadium, and we're going to see the Chiefs taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, as you can see here, I've got an example. This is a real-time example from odds this morning from Bet365, where the Chiefs are minus three to win, and the Bucs are plus three. So as we learned before, minus three indicates that the Chiefs are the point spread favorite, while plus three indicates that the Bucs are the underdogs. So keep that in mind. Now, to break this down, to tell you how this actually works. If you're going to bet on the Chiefs today, they need to win by a total of four points or more for the point spread to win. So they would cover the spread if they are to win by four or more points. Anything fewer than four points, one, two, three, this bet is a loser. So if you want the Chiefs to win and you want to bet on the spread, they've got to win by four or more points against the Bucks in the Super Bowl. Now, if we're going to go with the underdog Bucks here on our bet, and we are going to go with the point spread of plus three. Now, the Bucks they must win the game outright, or they must lose by two points or fewer. So you have two chances to win with the underdog Bucks. Either they win the game, or they lose by one or two points. Three or more points, and this is a losing bet. So this is a great great way to make money because if you bet on the Bucks, they have two ways to win. They can either upset the Chiefs, which could happen today. There's a lot of people who are backing the Bucks because of Tom Brady. Uh, so you can win by either betting on them to win uh, or you, you can get uh, a winning bet by them losing by one or two points to the Chiefs. So this is a very exciting way to bet and um, one of the ways that a lot of experienced sports bettors will make a lot of money because they bet on the underdog because they've got those two chances to win. So it's a very exciting thing to do. Now, as we see here, a three point victory by the Chiefs would equal a push or a tie. So this means that your stake would come back to you as a sports better uh, because this game, uh, or because the, the spread wouldn't be covered by either team, there would be no win. Uh, it would be just a simple tie and your stake would come back to you. 
Now, things to know about point spread betting, uh, the favorite often wins in the NFL, NBA, and NHL. So this is, again, a way for sp sports books to make things more attractive to sports bettors. And one thing that sports books will do to continue to make things more attractive is throughout the week leading up to a game, they will alter this point spread if the action is lopsided. So if the favorite is getting more action from sports bettors, they will uh, they will change the point spread to make it more attractive to bet on the underdog and vice versa. So throughout the week, you may see the point spread grow or decrease as the game nears. Now, this is done because sports books are always out to save themselves. They are not out to help us. They're not out to help you. They want to prevent themselves from losing money and taking too many losses. So by doing this, they are able to cover their losses and oftentimes make a profit. Now, point spread can be more attractive to the money line, as I said before, because the underdog gets a head start. This gives them uh, a, a chance to, uh, to, to be more equal to the favorite and gives you the chance to win more money. Because again, you're not betting on a team to win or lose. You're betting on how many points the winning team, so the favorite will have, or, uh, and win by, or how many points the underdog will lose by. So uh, it's a very interesting and attractive way to bet and um, a fun way to bet because, um, again, like I said, you're not betting on necessarily the winner or the loser. You're betting on how many points these teams are going to win or lose by. So uh, a, a very fun way to do uh, and a very good way, if you're not familiar with point spread betting, to mix things up compared to your traditional money line bets. Now, guys, of course, you can always go over to the zcodesystem.com backslash blog for more information on point spread betting. Get the latest picks for games from around the world, from sports, from the NBA to the Premier League to the NHL and Major League Baseball. And also you can get in on the community there and get to know some of the other uh, people who use Z Code system and, you know, bounce ideas off of one another. So that's the great thing about the Z Code system community. So guys, thanks for watching today here on Z Code System. Please give us a like and subscribe so you can stay up to date with everything we do here at Z Code System on YouTube. And we'll see you next time with more great videos.